Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Pipedrive with Microsoft Outlook. First thing we have to do is create ourselves an account at pipedrive.com and head straight to our workspace. Once we are at our workspace at Pipedrive, we want to go to the top right corner and we want to hit uh, this little icon with our initials or where our avatar should be. Now, once we click there, uh, we want to go to the tools and integrations. There's already a few integrations pre-made for us, but we want to hit marketplace and apps and go to marketplace. Now we can try and find the application that we are looking for or we, the one that we want to we want to integrate. In our case, it's Outlook. And as you can see, uh, Pipedrive doesn't provide anything uh, like that. We can maybe try uh, Pipedrive uh, to Outlook and so on. Or uh, we can go to the automate.io, which I strongly recommend. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Uh, once we are here, we want to go to the integrations on the top corner of automate. And uh, once this uh, pop-up window show up, we want to go to the see all categories. Now we can pick from 200 and more apps, but we are already interested in uh, pipe drive. So we want to hit pipe drive on this side and uh, the counterpart on, on the opposite side is Outlook. And we hit the Outlook. Now there's a couple of integrations already ready made for us uh, in popular integrations but if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for just keep scrolling and get to uh, you can create your own integration just remember on the left side underneath the triggers you should start with pipe drive so pick from pipe drive first don't go with uh don't go with the Outlook ones. Underneath the actions though, it's the opposite uh, uh, opposite way of doing that. We want to start with, um, with Outlook. Now, uh, once we finish the pickings, we want to go and try it now. Once we hit try it now, we get redirected uh, to the automate.eo sign-in page and we just sign in to the account uh we created and we are a few clicks away from finishing this uh integration the next one or the next option is zapier.com once we are at zapier.com uh and we created our account uh, we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a zap the zap stands for integration uh, we can name it or we can just jump straight to the integrations and uh to your surprise, it works perfectly same as automate.eo. So we want to start with pipe drive. As a first one, uh, the trigger event will be new deal, for example, or new activity, whatever you will need to pick. We hit continue. Now we have to log into the account that we created. We hit continue and now we can test our trigger. Or jump straight to the second option and as you can see there's this second action uh, for microsoft outlook we hit outlook we also have to pick the action event let's get update contact continue and the last thing we need to do is just to sign in with the microsoft outlook and we are basically done so thanks for watching and see you on the next video